Police say the suspect, who was shot dead Sunday morning in a gunfight with Baton Rouge police, came to Louisiana from Kansas City, Missouri. He came in here from somewhere else to do harm to our community and specifically to the law enforcement officers in our community. The murder of three policemen took place days after a sniper killed five police officers in Dallas. The two attacks came amid nationwide protests against the deaths of black men killed by white policemen in Baton Rouge and Minnesota in a span of less than a week. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards said killing police officers is not justice. This was a diabolical attack, attack on the very fabric of society. And that is not hyperbole, that is not an overstatement. There is nothing more fundamentally important than maintaining law and order so that people can have good quality lives. Long was black, but so was Montrell Jackson, one of the officers murdered Sunday. Killing one another is not, is not gonna help anything. Killing white cops, killing cops, killing unarmed black men, just killing anybody, period, in the human race is not what's going to solve this. It's going a to recent poll showed Americans are increasingly pessimistic about race relations. President Barack Obama in his recent speeches has urged Americans to focus on what they have in common. But a White House spokesman acknowledged Monday that easing racial tensions may take time. This is not the kind of uh, problem that we are going to confront, address, and put behind us as a society in the next six months or uh, even over the next six years. This is going to require sort of the sustained commitment and willingness on the part of people all across our society, both inside and outside of government, making it a priority. The outpouring of grief over the deaths of police officers as well as the black men killed by police signals that most Americans are ready for that commitment. Slaritza Hoke, VOA News, Washington.